Good morning. Good morning. First, I just want to thank everybody for your contributions to Christ Episcopal Church. They have made a difference in our church, in our community, and in the world. I wanted to start off and just tell you guys a brief story. I'm sure that you've all been around long enough to have heard the story of the starfish. I think someone told me Dave is really good about telling that story, so I'm going to tell it again. The, the one where the young lady is going along the beach and it's scattered with thousands of dying starfish and she's desperately trying to throw them back into the sea. And um, a passerby notices and he, he approaches her and says, you can't possibly make a difference. There are so many. And she defiantly reaches down to the ground, throws one back into the ocean and says, I made a difference to that one. While the story is cliche, we've heard it so long enough, it illustrates how how that each of us are empowered to make a difference. Each of us can make a contribution, and no matter how small it is, those contributions do make a difference. Now, I want to take that story and go a little bit further. Now, suppose this young lady had noticed the pattern that once a year that these starfish, uh, the, the, on this particular morning, uh, the, the starfish, uh, our litter of the beast, so she puts together an effective stewardship campaign. She, she is able to acquire 1,000 volunteers to show up at the beach this particular morning. Each one of those volunteers are assigned the duty of just throwing only 10 starfish into the sea. In a matter of moments, 10,000 starfish lives are saved. So what my story says is that united and together, we can, with very little work, we can make a huge impact, a huge difference in many, many lives. And so I just ask that each of you to look at the gifts that you have and think about ways that you can support our community, our church and the world through your giving of time and talent and, and finances, you know. We have a beautiful facility here at Christ Church, and that's only possible because of people like you in the pews. And I and my family are so ever grateful. Thank you.